Well, as you might expect, the Democratic National Committee saying it's time for Norm Coleman to concede. DNC Chair Tim Kaine spoke with us this morning. Our basic position is that the Minnesota voters have spoken. Um, uh, Al Franken won the election on Election Day. He won the recount, and now he's won the legal battle over the recount. So it's time to, uh, for Senator Coleman to just lay this thing down and let Minnesota have two senators again. So what, if anything, is Minnesota missing out on by only having one senator the past few months? Fox 9's Jeff Goldberg did some digging. He's live in the newsroom with some answers. Jeff, what did you find out? Well, Jeff, this year's Congress approved the stimulus package. They're dealing with bank and auto bailouts and the president's budget, which is generating a great deal of debate. All the while, only one state has one senator. Franken. When it comes to the recount, speed is relevant. As it grinds on in Minnesota, activity zooms ahead in Washington. This is an extraordinarily busy and active Senate. Political analyst Catherine Pearson says the absence of a senator is undeniably hurting Minnesota. On votes, yes, but the more pressing need comes behind closed doors. What we're missing is two senators sitting, on, sitting in committee hearings, sitting in committee markups, looking out for the interests of Minnesota when bills are moving through the legislative process. Whether it's transportation, energy, or health care policy, Pearson says having two voices is much greater than one. National Democrats are pouncing on the moment, airing new radio ads in Minnesota urging voters to urge Coleman to concede. Enough is enough. America is in an economic crisis, and Minnesota faces unique challenges of its own. Minnesota deserves two senators. Norm Coleman, speaking with Fox 9 yesterday, says he understands people's frustrations, but he believes in pushing ahead. So it's a lot of votes out there in a race that's very, very close, so let's count the votes and then we'll live with the outcome. Senator Klobuchar's office. There are other consequences, too. Senator Klobuchar's office remains flooded with twice the amount of constituent work. Calls and emails on issues like immigration and veterans benefits. Then there's the politics. For Democrats, Franken would bring them just one vote away from the 60-vote filibuster-proof majority needed to help push through President Obama's plans. For Republicans, that's the problem. On some of these high-profile party-line votes, um, it, it, one vote could make the difference. We tried contacting the Republican National Committee multiple times today for a response, but never heard back. Meanwhile, analysts believe the appeal process in the recount could take a month at the very least.